I might sound a bit crazy to share this message today, but enlightenment cannot be perceived by the mind. Enlightenment cannot be perceived by the mind. It can be experienced and it is an ecstatic experience. But I realized that the more I'm trying to teach people about it, maybe the, the more they lose themselves into, themselves into it. Or maybe they can learn something from it. Because I don't think that it is my job to teach you something. Maybe it is my job to make you realize that you have to unlearn some things in order to come back to the self. Okay? So Osho said in his book, and not his book because he was not writing books, he was only speaking and people were writing from what he spoke. He said that the book was called The First Principle. And he said that if I told you what the first principle was, then it wouldn't be the, the first principle anymore. Okay? So, whenever someone is trying to share their experience, uh, I'm pretty sure that you cannot understand it by the, with the mind, okay? Because words cannot explain, maybe words cannot explain energy, maybe words cannot explain emotions, okay? So, I realized that I have two types of videos, maybe the first type is focusing on the self-development, how to create your own reality, how to step into action, how to let go of limiting beliefs or something like that. And the second type of video is about awakening or the spiritual self or uh, the feeling that is unexplored. And why am I sharing this message? Because first of all, I want to express myself and it feels good expressing myself, okay? And the second thing be is because I want the world to question their realities, to question themselves as humans and as spiritual beings, okay? I want people to make them realize their power. I want people to make them realize that they are a powerful conscious being who can create any reality that they want to see relatively okay so yeah today's message is the fact that and no i realized that i was attached to this ecstatic state from uh, the first period of my awakening and while i still have that vibe while I still have that consciousness, I realize that I have lost it, or at least this is what my mind has believed, that it has lost it, that I have lost that experience. And I realize that I am only going back there, I am only going back into that powerful state. And through this message, I want to again express myself. I want to share and I realized that sometimes I want it to look enlightened. I want it to be perceived as enlightened and I guess that that is only part of the ego. So maybe the more enlightened you get, the less you will speak about enlightenment, who knows? The less you are trying to impress other people and the more authentic you become, okay? And today's message, I want it a bit to be weird because about enlightenment, cannot, you cannot say anything about enlightenment. You can only experience it. So whatever I'm trying to share through words, it is, I guess, only created by my intuitive mind. Okay? And um, maybe there is nothing to be said about enlightenment. Maybe the experience is so vast that it cannot be explained into words. So, yeah. Many people think I'm crazy, many people think I'm crazy because of my past. Even I sometimes, or maybe not, I never thought myself as mentally crazy, but I realized that being a bit crazy is good, it's healthy. So being a bit crazy, it's healthy, guys. So be a bit crazy or even more crazy. But I realized that the enlightenment experience cannot be shared.
okay so you can perceive it in a way you can have a mental image of it but the more I'm trying to share with, with you the more I'm trying to share the nirvanic state with you maybe the more you will get lost into your own mental processes who knows yeah so the idea is that I have had an awakening experience and uh, it broke everything about me in a way it made me realize that I am nothingness and everything at the same time it made me realize that I must enter the creative process that I must create my own reality that I, I have a message to share to the world and this is a good perspective because I guess everybody has their own message to share into the world everybody has their own purpose okay so think about what would be your most authentic self what would you do in your dream reality what would you do in your perfect state of feeling what would you do in the perfect state of honoring who you really are what would you what would you do in the perfect state of emotion okay what would you create go ahead and do that but let's not go off topic so yeah today's message was the fact that enlightenment cannot be shared into words enlightenment is there for everybody i'm sure of that but it cannot be shared into words i can only offer you a brief experience a brief a brief perspective okay so you can get to create something creative with your mind and with your heart listening to this message but this is it i cannot show you the experience because maybe there is no such thing as absolute experience of enlightenment maybe it is but maybe it isn't okay this was it for today thank you guys for watching and see you on the next videos i salute you ciao peace